In today's video, I want to provide you with a uh, function that automatically checks the size of the array, um, reallocates if needed, and adds the element to it. So how can we do that? Right. Basically, this is the code from the last video, and I want to have a function here that says, let's say, void add to array. Well, we have to think about what do we need. Well. We certainly need the array, right? So I'm gonna say int pointer array, and we certainly need the element that we want to add. So I'm gonna say int element, right? That those are the first two things that we need. And more or less what we need to do is what is actually here, right? We need to go here and simply paste this in. Now you will notice that we don't actually have last index, so that's something that we need to have. And the only issue with this is, well, I can just, passing last index as a value, but as you notice from this line, we're actually modifying this last index. And if we just pass it as a value, after the function is finished, we don't actually change anything, right? So we need to pass this as a pointer, all right? That means that instead of actually specifying last index here, we have to dereference last index because now it is a pointer. And similar over here, we're gonna actually dereference this. First. And of course, instead of 17, we're going to actually paste in here the LM and I'm going to delete this comment because that is no longer needed. And we're going to actually put this inside the braces so that uh, what we actually intend to happen will happen, which is to increment the uh, value of last index, not the pointer itself. Now, so far, so good. We can actually just go down here and replace all this with simply add to array and we have this array and then of course we have the we need a reference to last index and then here we need the element which is in our case 17 i can just copy this and paste it and um, i think it's this and there we go so this basically can replace everything cool but how do we do it such that we don't have to manually specify at which element we have to reallocate but every time we add something to the array, it automatically checks if there is enough space and it reallocates more space if needed. How can we do that? Well, to start off, it will be really helpful to have a size variable that, well, that says how many elements have been allocated for that array. So what's the capacity basically? So we can specify here, let's say uh, up here, let's call it capacity. And I'm going to say four here. And instead of four, I'm going to specify here the capacity. Perfectly fine, like this. Since this capacity can actually change, and we actually have to check it inside this add to array function, we have to pass it as a parameter. So I'm going to go here, and uh, let's put it here after the last index, and again as a pointer, because we might change this, right? We, we might have to reallocate the array, therefore changing the capacity. Well, here we can simply say uh, capacity. So I'm gonna pass a reference to that and then this should basically do the trick. Now here comes the tricky part. This code simply reallocates the array. It doesn't check for anything and it doesn't use our capacity. So let's try to adapt this a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna actually put it above here first. Um, so we're still going to have to use the realloc result we're going to pass in the array, of course, but the size of should be something different. And that should be um, a number that is related to the capacity. So in this case, let's say that every time we encounter a situation where we need to enlarge the array, we simply double the capacity of it. So what we can do is instead of eight, we can say um, capacity times two. Well, not quite because capacity is a pointer, so we actually have to dereference capacity. That's why I have here two asterisks. All right, and this basically works. Uh, it's just that this function doesn't return anything. So instead of returning one, and instead of dealing with any um, error codes, I'm simply going to say exit one in case of failure, right? Now, lastly, what we did was actually assigning to this array. So we do have to take in this part of code and add it here, but the question is, well, what are we actually assigning to? Now this array pointer is not actually the same as the one in main, right? There are two different variables. One is inside the add to array function, one is inside the main function. And 
um, it, all it holds is that is that reference to the first element in the array. If we change the one inside of um, our add to array function, that doesn't affect the main function itself. So for that to happen, we actually need to pass in a reference to this array or a reference to the pointer that represents the first element of the array. Therefore, we actually need to pass in a double pointer to an integer. So I'm gonna go here and simply change this to be a double pointer. And therefore we need to change everything so that we are instead of assigning to this pointer, we are assigning to the uh, to the dereferenced version, right? I'm gonna still free everything if things go wrong. And here, of course, we want to dereference and assign realloc result. And here, this is where we were actually assigning the new element to a uh, position in the array. This part of code becomes a bit more complex because we actually do have to dereference this array first. And don't worry, this code looks complicated, but all it does is we, we are saying that take this array, take this array, take this array identifier, dereference it because that's where the actual array is, and dereference it at the last index, uh, at the last index value, but take into consideration that last index is also a pointer, so we have to dereference it as well. Great. Now, there are of course two more things that we actually have to do. First is to reassign this capacity, right? So we have here this new capacity, right? But we are only changing the size of the array, but this capacity remains the old capacity, right? So we need to also set it as, uh, to be the value of itself doubled, right? So we're gonna have to do that. Let's say after the if, here I'm gonna say capacity times equals two. Right, so we're just doubling this capacity. I think that's straightforward. And the second thing that we have forgotten to do is to add a condition for when or for when we reallocate this array because we don't want to at every addition to reallocate the array and double its size, right? Because that means that basically after all these four calls, our array would be 32 integers long, but we only have like four stored. And that would be <laughs> a very bad very bad situation to be in. So we're gonna to have to put in a condition here. What is that condition? Well, we have to think about it. Here, remember that we need to actually do the reallocation right after this last addition, right? In the previous code. Um, what was the va what were the values for the capacity and the last index after this fourth call? Well, the capacity was still four, right? But the last index was also four, right? So when the last index at which we can insert is well, higher or equal than the capacity, that means that we can no longer add anything to the array, right? Therefore, we can, we can really say here that if our last index, last index is higher or equal than the capacity, right? And we're gonna put this in braces. But if you might have noticed this, um, since we're working with only pointers here, we have to dereference everything, right? So we're gonna have to dereference last index because it's a pointer, don't forget that. And same thing here. And of course, move these where they should be, which is inside the if, not outside of that. So this if really only executes when um, there is not enough space in the array and otherwise we're just going to execute this simple, this simple part. Great, we are almost done. All we have to do now is to also change um, the call itself because as you notice, we are getting some warnings from my editor. What is it saying? Well, it's literally saying that instead of passing a double pointer, we are passing a single pointer, which is great news that it tells us that. So we're gonna need to change this to a reference. So basically we have a, we have a single pointer here. And if you take the reference of that single pointer, of course you will get a double pointer. If you take the reference of an integer, you get a pointer to that integer, right? That's what that is. So here, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually add it to all of these calls. And of course, also this one. So now this one should also work. So if I do, let's let's copy and paste this. Yeah, let's do it like that. And then I'm gonna increment it and this is the code so far. Right, and if we try to launch this, so I'm gonna do compile it and let's go with our main. And there we go, we get the same result as before. Perfectly fine. 
And I'm going to also specify here two more things, I guess. Uh, one of them will be the capacity. So I'm going to say percent D backslash N like that. And another one would be the last index. So we can better understand what's um, going on. So I'm going to say here, of course, capacity, and it's going to be last index. Cool. And if we try to GCC, uh, let's see if I can do just this. That's great. So we can now see that the capacity is eight as expected and the last index is five. So because we have here references, so we have in the in this function, we have pointers, this capacity that was local to the main function, so not this one, this one, was actually changed from four to eight. And of course, if we want, we can actually add more elements to the array. So we see what happens if uh, our program crashes or whatnot. So I'm gonna actually add, I don't know, let's say 30 more elements here. And I'm gonna select all this and let's do a control A and let's, let's see what happens. Well, the array now has a capacity of 64 and we have 30, well, the last index is 35. So we have 35 elements in the array and the last element is 51, which is correct. Perfect. But hold on a second. You might say, well, sure, the capacity looks right. The last index looks right, but aren't we wasting a lot of memory here? Like we have 35 elements, but we have allocated space for 64. Well, that is actually an a very interesting topic to talk about, but it is quite a long one. So um, the next video, we'll take a look at why, in fact, we are actually multiplying the old capacity by two every time we want to um, increase the size of the vector. For now, that's about it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code can be found on the link in the description below. Take care. Bye.